Here you can see a tensegrity model of the forces in the pelvis. So I am manipulating the things that roughly correspond to the femurs. Uh, the one in the middle roughly corresponds to the sacrum, rotating and nodding like the queen with every step. And the other six represent the intraosseous strain and interosseous strain between the two innominate bones and the sacroiliac joint. But if you see the body in this way as the bones floating in the soft tissue, then you see how a soft tissue strategy can contribute to osteopathic balance. It's not just the little ligaments near the joints, it's also how the forces are distributed along these long myofascial chains and how do they support the bones in normal, resilient movement.